Well, hi there, it's Billy Burley with Courthouse USA with another mapping application built for you on the Hexagon platform. Uh, today we're looking at billboard data. I wanted to do billboard data because it's something I have some experience with in my previous career working with Department of Transportation on inventory management systems. What we're seeing is 18,000, a little over 18,000 billboard points across the state of Florida. Uh, you'll see these big circles on the map. Those represent clusters. Uh, what we did is we clustered the data. Rather than dropping 18,000 points on the map all at once, which would be pretty cluttered, we wanted to cluster the data to make it a little bit more visually appealing. So, for example, if I hover over, let's say, right here, I'll see the geographic extent, that blue box of those 278 points. However, when I start zooming in, you'll see the map starts to decluster on its own. As you get closer, you'll start to see the points pop up. Now, if I click on one of those points, here I'll see the attributes associated with that billboard. Uh, things like owner name, mile posts, height, and so on. So that can be anything, anything in your database. Anything you have in your inventory management database can be visible in this little info window. The other thing to point out is you'll see these points are orange. That's tied to this top chart. So all your oranges are your primary, uh, your blues are interstate, and your greens are secondary. So that can be anything. Uh, right now we're using class. If you want to do something else, another attribute to be thematically shaded on, that's fine. Or you can have multiples of that. Now let's zoom back out to the state level. And you can click all these charts to filter data. So let's say I want to look at all the primary billboards. There's 14,000 of them. And now maybe I want to look at the non-conforming ones. There's 3,500 of them. And then maybe I want to keep filtering. And I want to look at all the ones that are steel and V-shaped. So these are just a few example charts. Again, these can be any attributes in the data. It can be made into a chart that can be filtered on. I'm just going to quickly reset these, and I can search by sign owner. So right here I've already got K2 Media. I hit search. There's the five signs that K2 Media owns. Uh, I can see they're all primary and they're all conforming. Maybe I want to search by permit number. It's got 101 type there. If I zoom out, I'll see that is this one right here. And it's an interstate sign. I know that because this chart's blue as well as the point is blue. And it's a non-conforming sign. I've got a chart here for county, so I can select a single county. Or if I want to, I can just click on the map to look at various counties. Now I can go to my filters, hit reset all. So anytime I do filters, I just reset all to go back to square one. Um, now let's do one more example. Let's say I want to look at District 6. So when I look at District 6 is made up of Monroe and Miami. Here's the 874 billboards in District 6. From here I can see the percentages. I can see 15% of them are interstate, 85% are primary, and... There's only three secondaries. I can also see that 25% of them are non-conforming. So let's say I want to click the non-conforming ones. Majority of them are primary, and there's 217 of them. So maybe I just want to pull those out. All I have to do is go to Export, Attribute Data. And here, now we've opened up an Excel spreadsheet with the 200 or so non-conforming signs in District 6. And from here I can do lots of things with it. Obviously I can sort, I can highlight, I can do all kinds of things with uh, the data once I get in Excel. One other thing I can do, and this ties into another application we have, is I can take that list, import it into a mobile app. So you'll see here, I select an uh, Excel file put it into our mobile app, MA Lite. I can then assign the work, because there's a workflow component built in, assign it to different 
different managers to go out and look at. And then I can take my iPad into the field. I can take pictures. I can view the database, the attributes associated with that sign, and either verify or edit those attributes. I can also view the status. So if we're out there and we're doing a, um, an inventory, a maintenance inventory, or an update, updating our inventory, and I've got different people in the field, I can, I can track where they are in their, um, their work list. As well as live tracking or historical tracking. So I can see where they are at any given point in time in the field, as well as where they were. So that's MA Lite uh, that can be used for data collection. Now back to the map in Florida. One last thing I was going to show is that visualization is great uh, for lots of things, uh, especially when done correctly. You can you can gleam information almost immediately. Things like where are the non-conforming signs, um, where are my steel or wood signs. Another thing you can see is if I zoom out, I'll notice there's 237 billboards off the coast of Africa. And I'm pretty sure that's probably outside of Florida's jurisdiction and they're in the ocean. So what that tells me is there's 237 points in the database that either don't have a latitude longitude associated with it or that have an incorrect one. In this case, they, they're blank because it's putting them right in the middle of the world. So it's another great way to, to identify maybe where there's even issues with your data that need to be corrected. So that's billboard application uh, built in the hex counter platform. I also showed MA Lite. So I'm going to include my contact information in the description below for this video. And if you have any questions or you want to learn more about these applications, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.